G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zaboodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We're back in the brand new Alpha 20 update coming into day 3 of our Horde Every Night series. So far we faced down 2 Blood Moon Hordes and come out the other side. The cheeky barn I found myself holed up inside of has done a pretty good job of keeping me safe. But as that moon slowly sets into the horizon... I have a big day ahead of me. I want to try and push through the building next door uh, before Trady opens to go get a new quest and keep trying to push and make money, get experience, and get better weapons that way. But I also want to see what else is in this town. I know there's a lot to offer out there. I just have to go and find what's available. I just I want to find some better gubs. Always do. I've got some decent weapons now, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm just excited about where this series is heading. I'm excited about how it's all shaping up. And hey, if you're excited about it too and want to join me on this adventure, perhaps consider tickling that sub button. Just saying. Anyway, the sun is up, so let's get cracking on. Let's get out, let's get next door, and let's go see what's cracking in old Matey Potatoes' farmhouse over here. I'm ready to get going. My shotgun's ready to eat. Who wants to sacrifice themselves to it first? Oh, that's really, that's not like a proper door. I was expecting to, like, beat my way into you, but if you're locked, I assume... <gasps> okay, how do I turn you on? I feel like I've asked that question a lot in my life, but rarely to an, an inanimate object on the wall. So is that going to be part of, like, the restore power quest that they've got in this now? Which I may not be able to do, because I think you do those at night, and, well, at night time I'm busy fighting hordes, but... Okay. That's interesting. I'll have to find another way in, but I'm all about it. That way. Okay. Oh, also, don't ask me why, but I'm stealing your torch. I need it for reasons. I found myself some shorts, and while they're not as good at heat resist as the skirt is, it does give me better cold resist, and given that it does rain quite a bit, and I get a little bit soggy every now and again, that might be the way to go. Got to keep my color coordination happening, though, so I'll quickly change out you don't no, want to keep the shorts and chuck the pink in them there we go so we're still looking fly shit yeah we are oh look at that if i didn't have the weaponry to murder the apocalypse they would all drop dead at the side of me just from all the blood leaving their brains that's that is a man that is a sight to behold that is for damn sure <laughs> that isn't just a slice that's a whole damn pizza Nice. All right. Well, skirt, I'll scrap you up. Nothing else in here. All right. Let's keep pushing on. This is an entirely new POI, so who knows what I'm coming up against. Hopefully nothing too bad. I just want some easy loot, some easy kills to work my way into it. Incoming enemies. Oh. Prepare for conflict. Oh, I see. Yep. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Oh. All right. There's a couple. Uh, you're stuck behind there, so I'm going to go this way to try and keep you locked behind that fence. Well, I just go mano a mano with your little friendo over here. That's all good. That's all gravy. Come on, there you go. This way, sort you out. Clubby boys doing wonderful things for me. Nothing in you. Ooh, round windows as well. Man, that, like, all the new blocks that you're going to get out of this, all the new shapes and options you have. So many, so many possibilities. Oh, I'm going to have such a time building. Like, the builders of this game, like, I'm... I play the game with a little bit of building, but there are people out there who just specialize in building and are obscenely good at it. Those people with all those block options for them, they are going to be building some out of this world uh, buildings. That is for damn sure. Anything in you? No, not much. Uh, I was hoping for more out of that, actually. A little like secret room like that? That could have been way cooler. Sorry to do this to you, bud, but... Oh, I wasn't expecting you to die on the first pill, but I'm I glad. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. Nance. New Nance. Calm down. We're fine. Yeah, I wasn't expecting Mo to die in one pill, but I'm glad he did, because often they're pretty bloody tanky. I didn't notice it. Look how soft and lush that bed looks. Oh, I could go a cheeky nap. That is for damn sure. That looks like a cloud ready to have me crawl inside it. And I would like to make all of us wildest snuggy dreams come true. Couple of booty boys. You're better for cold, but worse for heat. The cowboy boots are like the better all-rounder. Actually, 
No, I get more of an advantage with the Gothic Bird, so we can finally be rid of the essence of the Cowboys. Sorry, Arles, but that ship has sailed and is never coming back. Anything around this way? Mm, nope, doesn't look like it. All right, keep on pushing on. I like exploring new POIs. It's been so long since I didn't feel like I knew what was what I was walking into. I like it. I'm excited about it. I'll take that torch as well. Don't mind me. The sun's getting higher in the sky, so I'm less reliant on internal lighting. It's a cool looking door. No one's going to spawn in there after the fact. No, we're all good. We're all gravy. Sham sandwich and a can. I'm running out of space, but if I need to, I can just chuck it all in my drone instead. Damn it, there's so many wall safes around. I probably should have been marking them as I've been going so I could come back and like open them all up later on down the deck. But uh, I guess this one is actually in the POI that I live in. So I'll try and remember it's there and I'll find some like uh, lock picking candy. I can pick open the lock chests in my little barn attic and also that one in the same stretch. I'm oh. oh, that was you. That's fine. I'm prepared. I just need to see them so I can kill them. There you are. Get away from the bookshelves. Don't want to have any collateral damage. Don't want to break any books while I'm breaking your face. Oh, oh, okay. Yep. No, nope, that works. Struggle a little bit. Struggle a little bit with the chairs. Nice. Get you. Quickly potter off back to the stairs and reload again. Oh, look at you. Look at you with the athletic prowess. Proud of you. Not going to help you, but I'll still give you a small round of applause. A bunch of ammo, some red tea, and some peas. Happy, 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 happy. Oh, and the forge schematic as well. I'll read you. Check you as well. Uh, Hunter Journal, 10% more damage to vultures. Thank you very much. That's good. Getting that forge schematic, that's going to open up a lot of doors for me. Glad to have it. Going down into the basement, which I know leads to my barn next door because there's that little hatch. Oh, oh God. Um, <laughs> what? You somehow reached through the stairs and grabbed me ankles, you bloody Komodo dragon fuck. No, not happening. Oh, that's not happening either. Apparently, we'll go this one instead. Uh, no, not having it. Not bloody having it. I don't care what bloody clipping shit you're using. That's not okay. Oh, you're looking creepy as shit, though. Hold on. Two seconds. Let me just quickly put another round in the chamber and fuck out. Ruin your face a little bit. Man, that's so real on the pipe weapons. Makes a lot of sense, balances them out, but uh, I need to get better about that. I can see you. I was going to go with the bow and arrow, but I think instead, if this is like an accurate hitbox, this could be lovely. Can I just go like... I swear this doesn't happen all the time. Give me two seconds to reload and get ready to go again. For a second. For one second, I was super excited that maybe the hitboxes were better, but turns out not. All right, fair enough then. In fact, in that case, can I... How good's the axe? Considerably better. Okay, no, the iron axe is definitely an improvement from the, the stone axe. Really, they're both tier one, so not sure what I was really expecting. I'm going to quickly just pop you open like that. I'm not going to waste another 762. I'll just go... And miss, apparently. The little wiggle waggle of the crosshairs My not have doing me any favours. And then pop your noggin off like I've, <laughs> I've cut off your linguine. Bud, what happened to your noggin? Ah, what a shame. So that door's still locked. That was the, um, like the cellar door from before. So I guess it must be that, uh, it must have been that switch on the outside is what turns it on. Why would it be on the outside, though? Wouldn't that be, like, the end of the POI? Oh. Oh, that's a cop. Wait. <laughs> oh, that rattled me Jimmy. He's like, I just rattled his jiggly chin. That was a good feeling. I enjoyed that thoroughly, and I'll enjoy it next time as well. Pipe machine gun. Absolutely lovely dovely. Yeah, I can hear things as well. We could get out of here so I can... Oh, shit. Deal with the wandering horde. Uh, ha. Huh. Okay. You're locked. Do I... Can I put, like, a generator down and wire it up to you? I'm not sure how it's going to work. I don't know, but there's a couple of them out there, so let's just open you. 
and try and place the shots as much as we can. Headshots all around. Oh! Oh, he got clever. He started crawling. He knew I was lighting uh, pelicans up and started crawling about. Bonds might level up. Got a little tickled, but we're going to be okay. So can I only, like, turn on those things and open these doors by, like, doing the quest for it? Are they not, like, usable outside of the quests? I mean, fair enough, I suppose, but I'm just, I'm just kind of curious. My stamina has just gone down a little bit too much for me to feel confident really going mano a mano against the zombies with my stick. Especially if they start getting mad at me. My stamina regen is still a pretty big issue. Alright. Nice. Nice and peace and quiet. Oh, <sighs> Wandering hordes. Apparently they show up at really inconvenient times. Who would have thought? There we go. Back up to you though. Store what I can. Store in all of these boxes. Get everything out of the way and good. You can just hold... Actually, I'll hold on to you for the moment. You can hold on to those. Uh, scrap you. Die can go into there, I suppose. Yep, sure. Why not? And I want to just chuck these torches down in places so I can actually use it. One can go there. Um, one can go... No, not there. One's going on the outside of that pole. Like... No! Not like that. Like... Is that you making that ruckus cheese? Every time it makes that clattering sound, I get nervous. Why can't you go where I want you to go? I've just tucked the torches, like, down and around all over the place to try and give some relatively decent lighting around the place. I'm hoping three torches aren't enough to call in a screamer, but I don't know what the threshold for that is anymore, so... That could be screamer bait before too long, so I'll get out of here before it gets a little bit too dicey. And go and see Trady Potato. I'm gonna need some quests from your bud somewhere in this town would be lovely. I wanna keep trying uh, try to push through and getting some upgrades going, because the rewards are definitely worthwhile. Just gonna keep pushing. No time to dilly dally. The horde is coming once again. It won't stop, can't stop, can't stop the horde. I'm just gonna make sure I'm ready for it. Man, I just got lost in the fog. Should probably check his vendo, actually. Ooh, you do have eye candy. Ooh, and jailbreakers as well. And now that I've got those two safes in my farmhouse, I can uh, grab that uh, the lockpicking candy. Although, no, there's no point doing that. I don't have any lockpicks. So that's not going to help me anyway. Um, They're all a long way away. It's a bit unfortunate. I'll take that one, I suppose. Or fast food. That works for me because I am hungry as dicks. All right, bud, thank you for listening to my complaints and my needs and trying to help me as best you can. I'm gonna go raid the old burger joint and see what's going on. Watch me raid this whole place and get no food, just because that's how seven days is sometimes. Oh, 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 that. <laughs> yep, that's the sound that I'm making as well, but not out of my mouth, out of my loins. That is a shooting range. Oh, there's good gubs in there. I really like raiding the shooting range. I'll leave that though. Because, like, my... Now we have this looting stage thing, uh, which is different... Well, it's the same at the moment, but it's different to my game stage. I'm going to keep that for later to hopefully find something better out of it than I currently might at this very moment. No point wasting the shooting range, because loot doesn't respawn in this world. I always play with loot respawn uh, off. So I don't want to waste that too early. But having that there, just knowing it's there, is making me a very happy boy. We're at it down into the town as well. Look at it. It looks so much more urban. Like the inner town uh, POI generation, like actually feels like a town. There's big car parks and stuff. There's actual like commercial districts. Oh, like I know I keep frothing myself up over the bloody world generation, but it's just so good. It's such an improvement. Look at this too. Like proper intersections with traffic lights. I'm having a good time. I'm having a really good time. Not just because I'm giving Loza a good bonker with me stick either. It's all a lovely time out here. Go like that. Put one right through your gums. Sick. All right. Well, the sun has set on my little adventure. So time to get in and get cracking and find myself some food. Uh, just you. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Protect me, droney boy. What are you doing? Don't just fly about. Get in there and zap them or something. Use your repellers to cut their fringe or something at the very least. Don't just watch me die. Found lots of fluids, which is... Oh, oh it's just you again. Jesus. Found lots of fluid, which is good in itself, but not my main pressing issue right now. 
Uh, I'm hoping to find some food. Oh. Somewhere in here. Oh, could we close that door behind me just in case? Nothing in the loo. I am wet. I am, but not in the way you'd think I would be because I haven't found my bloody food yet. Up to them. Now, interestingly... See, look. Old Mate Droney only really tells me that shit's about to kick off once the, the zombies get out of the way. Are uh, already awake. Ah, oh, shit. They got too close and kind of waggled in front of me. I couldn't actually make the shot. You need to get out of my bloody sight. Yeah, no fucking shit. It's inside my throat already. Thank you for the fucking heads up. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Didn't mean to reload then. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. Things are not going as well as I'd hoped they would. I thought he was dead and turns out, nah. Why don't you warn me of that one? You warn me I'm currently gargling fucking elbow deep on a zombie arm. But when someone's still alive and charging me down from behind, you're like, nah, it's fine. It's fine. He's got this. How about you actually help me, you droney bitch? There is a lot of noise coming from downstairs, which is not particularly reassuring. It is now midday though. The cicadas are rubbing their things together and making that noise. Shamway box, what's in you? Ooh, some rations. They're not coming up out of the hatch yet, so we're fine. If they even can, like maybe they can't purely because they can't use ladders anymore. I'll change you over because you have an extra mod slot if I ever do manage to find a bloody helmet light mod. I can sell you as well. Cheers, knackers. Nothing else in the corner. All right, well, I kind of got to get down there and fight them, but I'm running out of ammo. Is this another wandering horde, actually? I think it might be. I might need to get some spacing so I can try and go one-on-one -on -one with the club, but, uh, yeah. This is a bit dicey. Incoming enemies, prepare for hmm. conflict. I'm going to need to find a better way to have some ammo production going or else I'm going to be in a lot of trouble in not too long. Job done, and the sun has come back out again, so I'm going to head back to tradies and get my reward. I'd love to fight all of you guys, but I just, I gotta be, I gotta be way stingier on what I'm doing with my ammo. Because yeah, like, so with Horde every night, the issue isn't so much the, the fact that the Horde's every night, and like, yeah, that's dangerous and stuff, but it's the fact that it just burns through your ammo. Okay, so bloody quickly. So like ammo production, having a way to easily fight the horde is the problem. So that's why I wanted to try and build something in my barn that I could use melee with. So I'd run up, up onto those bars, I'd bonk their chops and they go floppy and goopy and slide off those slopey rails. But so far that hasn't really worked out the way I wanted it to. But I gotta find a way to make this work for me. Ross, I'm gonna run out of ammo. I'll have no choice but to jump down and go toe to toe with the whore with a club. And that's gonna end up with me getting shish kebab. So that's not a great idea. I need to. <laughs> I need to do some better planning. Here we go. Jolly well boy, earned, back Trevor. again. Well earned. Neither of those are what I was hoping for. I guess I'll take that one. All your other jobs are a long ass way away. I suppose that's the next well, closest one at a no pharmacy. All right, fair I'm enough right. there. But real quick, do you have like a helmet light mod or something? Because I need some way to light up the world. Because Alpha 20 is apparently really bloody dark. You've just got headlights. Okay, well in that case, you can still take that off me. All of that can come with home with me as well. Uh, you can hang out there. Thanks for shopping here. No whackers, knackers. Um... You're not holding anything? All right. I was also thinking, so I haven't named the drone yet. I've been trying to think of what, like, I wanted the name to come to me naturally that felt right for the drone. And I think, oh, jeez, <laughs> the speedy boy. I think I'm going to call you Dorothy. I'm going to call you Dorothy. Dorothy the drone. Got the alliteration that I'm always a fan of. But I can also short that into Doza or just D if I really want to. But I think her official name is going to be Dorothy. <gasps> Why is there so much bacon here? Why is there so much bacon here? Can you die in one? No? I don't know how tough you're gonna be, but I feel like you're gonna be pretty bloody tough. Uh, uh oh, I can't see, can't see. Okay, a cell shot with a rifle and three with a machine gun. We can probably make that work, but I need your bacon balls to come home with me. Take you, thank you, 30 stacks of meat each, and I don't need the, the animal fat anymore because, well, I'll need that for torches, now I have plenty. Go like that, get you pissed off. 
sort you out as well. All right, this is easy. Bacon for everyone. While I'm here, actually, this building here is a relatively short raid. Uh, I'm very hungry still, so let's eat most of the food I just got. I gotta put some points. How many points available? I do. I gotta put some points in the iron gut or something, because this is getting bloody ridiculous. I'd rather spend it on many other things, but uh, food and water at the moment is my biggest issue. So I can keep that at least somewhat under control. I stand a much better chance of getting through all this. Get all that insia. Drink some of the yucca we found as well. I don't know how much that I'm actually going to need. It was about halfway, so let's just go... Let's just go one of each. That should be fine. Scrap you, and then you can hold on to... To as much of that as you can. Cheers, knackers. All right. I want to quickly raid this joint. It's a nice, quick, and easy raid, and hopefully has some decent goals for me. Master, we are not alone. Yeah, cheers, mate. I've got a wrench and some glue. Happy with that. Arles, good to see you again. Always lovely to come over and have a bit of a cheeky quickie in the cornfield. Always a fan of that with you. Uh, oh, I see you. I see you. Look, I don't know why you were hiding out with this particular guy in the cornfield and then tried to run away when I show up. I know your history, Arles. I know what you're capable of. But I'm just going to try and stick with ignorance is bliss. I want to get through here nice and quickly. Oh, okay. You didn't wake up despite me breaking the boards next to your face. Uh, real quick, repair my club as well. That might come in handy. Pull one into you. Hammer it home. Bonds are made. Another level up, actually. Didn't realize how long ago I got my last level up, but I am all about it. I know, my mind was blown as well. Uh, I will take... Mm, I mean, I'm running out of stamina still, so that's kind of the main one. That's a pretty well-rounded spec tree right there, so that's good for me. Quickly check you. Grab the nails, don't need the lead weights. Yep. The flu has taken over the world and ruined us all. Um, although, actually, so if I'm... Hmm. Okay, if I'm going to be struggling for ammo so much, maybe I need to like make sure I'm actually... You cheeky chook. You almost jumped it again as well. Maybe I need to... What the? What is going on here? I've heard of moving on from your past life to a new life or whatever. You, that's usually happen in the physical sense. Just like traipses on down the street. Don't even bloody worry about it. But if my ammo production is going to be the main issue, maybe I need to be more focused on retaining ammo production stuff, like the raw materials. That might come in handy before too long. Like even if it's like an extra like 30 rounds or something, that's still nothing to turn your nose at up. Uh, up at even. Come on, Josh, learn how to speak, please. I'm too busy thinking about all the things I have to do for the Horde. I'm forgetting how to be a human being. I think that's the last dude just there. So we'll go like that. There we go. Sit you down. Don't ever get back up again. Some glue, some more brass doorknobs. So now, yes, I'm going to keep the brass stuff rather than scrap it unless I can get away with it. Apparently, all the lead fishing weights in the world that I've been getting might actually have a use for me. Nothing else around them. All right, what you got over this side? Search the foul trash. Sewing kit. I still need to make those pockets for my clothes, but I'll get on that as soon as I can. As soon as it's... Can you move, please? As soon as it's feasible. The drone needs to be like another meter or two. Like that. That should be your default range all the time. Don't be floating around trying to trim my freaking nose hairs. That's going to end up with an axe through your senses. Ball cap mod. Thank you. Ooh, a leather trunk. You're new. So you're not like the lockable reinforced chest anymore. That's like the new, like standard loots. Okay, I'm all for it. What you got for me? Spear hunter book. Thank you. Scrap you. Take the titty coverings and the bando. Not much in here, but we learned some lessons along the way, which I'll probably forget. So while I'm at home, actually, I did get a uh, forge. I got the forge schematic. So, shoreline pipes, which have enough of those. Duct tape, I have glue, so I can make three of those. It should be okay there. All right, I think I might have the stuff to do that. Let's see how we go, at the very least. Um, uh, what have I done? I haven't sorted out my inventory. My inventory is everywhere at the moment. It's, it's hurting me a little bit. I have to go through and sort all this out at some point. Uh, nothing there. Uh, short iron pipes. I needed that one. Needed the glue. I needed the cloth fragments as well to make three duct tapes, please. Three of you. And was it 
I need, I need more small stones. Okay, hang on two seconds. I'll get outside and go punch a boulder for a bit. Shouldn't be too much of a hassle to see a couple of more pebbles. We'll be okay. Oh, I'm hungry again. Man, it's, I ate half a bloody cow this morning and then a bunch of tin food along the way and old mate's already knackered again. Your metabolism is ridiculous. Somehow, this decided to be the moment. Oh, there's one there, but there's no boulders anywhere. I've been walking around in circles trying to find one and had no luck. And then, of course, the moment I start talking about it, one shows up out of the reeds. Uh, how many did I actually need? I've already got 50 now, actually. So I have the gums make a forge. Yes, I do. Let's quickly get you on the craft and get you at least smelting some stuff back home. I'm really, um... There's a lot of farming materials out here as well, actually. I'm really dicing with death a bit. I've already got three torches up, which is screamer bait already. But putting a forge down as well is probably going to call on a screamer. I haven't had an experience with the new Alpha 20 screamer yet, so that's going to be really bloody scary when it does happen. You're going to take a little while to cook up, though. I can store the rest of this stuff back away. In fact, do I have... I... Dude, do I have any other nails around here somewhere? I might have an extra stack because I'm sick of this, this bloody storage. I need to sort this out. I need to get my life in order. I was just rearranging stuff. I forgot that I had a two times scope mod in my weapons bag. It's gone now because I was breaking some stuff down, but I completely forgot about you. I reckon I'll chuck you onto this one. Here you go. Surprised it actually works. I expect to not be able to put any mods on you. <gasps> That's a sick scope. That's like a full, like, old school, like, 1870s scope. That's bloody sick. But more important, that's going to give me some extra damage as well. Plus the stealth damage when I'm, like, going raiding. That's going to be sick. Plus those torches are going to bang up job lighting up the barn as well. The uh, residual light is... Sorry, the refractory light even is doing a real good job. The default storage chest is now the rideable one. I'm just going to call you Gubs for the moment because I can't think of anything else to word you, given I have to put everything inside you. Go like that, chuck you all away. Just try and put everything I can into you so at least I know that everything exists in the same spot. Uh, oh, actually, keep you on me for the moment and just put you down. Mm, I wanted to put you a bit further along, but that might do. In fact, you know what? No. Let's get you. Let's take all of that. Chuck what I can into you and put the forge on the other side. Actually get some semblance of uh, organization going on here. All of my gubbins fit in this box with one spot to spare. That's either a Horde Knight Thunder or it's just the Storm Thunder. But either way, it made me clench just that extra little bit. I'm now not like tasting the seat cushion, but I'm definitely aware of the texture of it in more ways than I should be. You're empty as well. All right, that's a lot of, a lot of thunder. So I guess it's the Horde stuff coming in. You can go like that. Um, you can have a little bit of fuel. And I want to... Uh, start smelting up. Give me you and you. And both of you, actually. Is there anything else in there that I can smelt away that's going to help me? Any more brass stuff? Any more lead stuff? Don't think so. I'm kind of in the habit of throwing away into my finders, so I wouldn't expect to have much. Nah, okay. So... I'm going to smelt you first and you first. You're going to take a while to do, but hopefully you'll get some decent stuff in there. I wish there was just like... I wish a forge had four slots in it. So you could have... But like one slot that's just for like the raw materials, the scrap stuff. And the other slot can only be used for items. So you can't double up on either or of them. You can just have one that smells down the raw material and one that smells down the special items. That might incentivize me more to bring home the gubs to smelt like that. Rather than having to do the balancing act of trying to take it out at the right time and not be wasting all my fuel in the forge. Do I have time to raid over there? I don't think I do. It's already half past six. Zeus is already clapping his ass cheeks. I need to make sure I'm ready for him. One of the things I did want to do that I noticed in the horde last night is that they were kind of coming over this way when I was standing up on my little shelter up there. Because they're trying to get to my spot as quickly as possible, they were trying to beat their way through over here. And I want to stop them from being able to do that. So I'm going to quickly just get rid of the, uh, the floor blocks here. So there's no way for them to get over there and ha uh, cause me some problems. It's going to take a little while to do. Thank God I've got this iron axe that so will need a repair kit in a second. Ooh, so this is what I mean. Finding better tools always gets me excited. 
And so far, I think the iron tools apparently are worthwhile in Alpha 20. They've definitely made themselves a bit more, uh, a bit more worthy of being in my hands. Even if I can't bloody jump to my own ladder anymore. Damn it. This is the last block. Almost gone. There we go. I suppose they might try and get to that one over there as well. I don't want them to make their way all the way around. So I'll just get rid of you guys. They have no way over there. We know they don't use ladders anymore, which is really bloody weird. And it's going to cause lots of people several issues if zombies won't climb ladders. I'm kind of okay with it. You need dexterity and coordination to climb ladders. That's why I had so much issue getting on my own one only a matter of seconds ago. Those are qualities that I and the zombies both lack. So I'm okay with that. If I get rid of this, maybe it will force them up there. Maybe they'll like they'll choose any other option other than a ladder. Just a bit of cheeky experimentation before we go full Zawoodle Park later on this week. Get rid of you. It's eight o'clock on a little bit of time. Not enough time to go raiding or anything too uh, adventurous, but enough time to kind of get my life in order here. The torches are doing a good job. I put them in good places. I just don't like how these stairs look at the moment. So I'm going to do a bit of uh, renovations while I'm standing here. Let's just go like that so they're all nice and supported. Excuse me, droney boy. Oh, sorry. Excuse me, Dorothy. Got to get. I mean, I just gave you a name. I should probably stick to it, right? Uh, I'll need one more of you just to make sure you're all nice and supported like that. Now I can get rid of you guys and you won't all fall down around me. Now I just need, in fact, um, now nah, you can say that. You're fine. I just need, you can say like that, but then these ones I want to be a ramp block. Holy shit, that's a lot of options for ramp blocks. I just want the normal one. That one. I, this this is going to take some getting used to. That's for damn sure. Excuse me, Dozza. Get out of the way, please. On face. Stick you like that. And like that. Just to give it a bit more personality. Make it look like it makes a bit more sense. Go like that. Upgrade you. Also means that it's all now nice and secured all the way along. You can stay. That's fine. I can take all you guys back. And there we go. I mean, it doesn't look like much, but it looked better than it did. Can I go, actually, while I'm still at it... Let's get rid of that block as well and put uh, turn that one into a ramp. So then it's got that nice smooth, smooth line all the way up. Yes, I know we're about to fight a horde. Well, that's no excuse to have terrible aesthetics. Aesthetics matter. Or I may as well just feed myself to the horde right now. I could actually, and what I might do... In fact, are you... Are you like a new special block where you're like a hollow shell? I feel like you might be because you're all getting broken down at once. Rather than the old version where it was like five or so blocks all start together to look like a box. There you go. I can now go like this. Uh, get a regular block. Chuck you there. I'll get rid of that one as well. Yeah, like that. That's not like a proper crate. It's all one block. That's bloody sick. The new blocks are so cool. I'm really excited to have, go have a bit of a play with them. Uh, I think I'm going to go and get some of my cobble from upstairs and just upgrade this to be all cobblestone all the way up because that's where a lot of the zombies are going to be and like it's the weak point so if that breaks they'll find another way to break down the barn around me so I need to make sure that this is as strong as it can be. It's the weak point. It's the weakest link and I don't want it to go goodbye. Just going to do the main stairs first. I don't have much cobble. They should be fine. Um... I can only do one more. Oh! There's some cobble right there. Can I make myself a shovel real quick? That's how you spell that at all, Josh. Neither is that. Shovel, plant fibers, and stones. I might struggle to get those in order. Uh, I might be able to do it, though. If I can do that, grab that. Fuck me dead. I just cannot get on that bloody ladder to save my bloody life. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe I can, like, fix this for myself. Maybe I'm just too much of a clown for my own good. Give me a hatch. This may not work. I've never really tried it before, but we'll see how we go. And I want to go on face. Actually, no, that'll work. Go like that. Go like that. So now I have a little bit of a platform for my stupid ass to land on. There we go. And I can close it behind me. That's actually a really good idea. I've never thought of doing that before, but I'll take it. I can work with it. Give me you. I'll actually scrap one of you just so I have the gubs I need to make that shovel. Shovel, there you go. Make you real quick so I can go and dig up that cobblestone block. Ten minutes till the horde, but really pushing it. It was the right call, though. I sacrificed one cobble to get 35. That's a good investment. 
upgrade you, upgrade you, and upgrade you as well. So now, like, the important parts, the main stairway, are all nice and good. Open you, up we go. That's really good. I've never done something like that before, and it's working out really bloody well. Okay. Uh, you can actually go away, so can all of you guys. I'm going to need my ammo, though. I, ooh, I don't have any spare 762. I thought I had some... I do not. I need to make this work for me. I need to be on the nips every step of the way or else I'm going to be significantly cooked. You, real quick though, have two of those. My senses have picked up something. Yeah, my senses too. They're called ears. have picked up quite a lot of things. They're all coming in. All right. Well, here we go, Dozza. Here we go, Dorothy. We're ready to go. They should be coming in. Not sure why they're having any issues. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I haven't blocked off their route. This should be fine. That was right through the chin. And it was a single shot kill. That two times scope may have been a godsend. If I could fucking hit anything, you give yourself a fucking scope the size of a small country and you still can't hit them 100% of the time, Josh. Sort your shit out. But at least now when I do hit them, they go splatter. The real nice thing about this is because I can expect to get a one-shot kill with this. I don't have to rush. Where are you going? Ooh, it wasn't a headshot, but he died. I don't have to rush my shot quite as much as I once did. I know, as long as I get a headshot or somewhere near about, so you didn't die from that. Uh, as long as I get, like, you know, the right shot done, they will die. Uh, I can wait till I actually have... Shut up, Lydia! I, um, I can actually wait till I have the right shot waiting for me and not just take a crack and potentially bin it. Someone stuck all the way out there playing with the lamppost. All right, fair beans then. Don't mind me. You can wrap yourself around it all you want. I'll be stuck inside in my torchlight. Torches were a good idea. Jump up, please. There you go. Well, no, nah, didn't like it. Didn't like it. Ah, deal. Still didn't like it. Probably shouldn't be using the machine gun either because I'm wasting my 7.62 ammo, but I need you to die. What's your pathing doing, actually? Your pathing is having some issues. <laughs> All right. All right, that works for me too. Something is skewering them over here. They don't know what to do with themselves, but that works out in my favor. Loza, I need you to stop doing that. That's why I upgraded all of those to cobble purely for Incoming Muppets enemies. like that. Prepare for conflict. Cheers, Doz. Just because I knew that at some point you didn't die. That was going to cause me some issues. Let's just sort you out with the old machine gun that still does a bang-up job. I like having a fallback. So what? I've got the rifle to try and hit him in one, the machine gun to follow up, and then the shotgun if they do make it all the way up to here. I'm annoyed that the shotgun site... Look how far below like the center of the crosshairs it is to where the front of the post site is. That's kind of frustrating me, but for the most part, I've got a pretty good loadout right now. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I fucking do! I'm having a wonderful time. Old mate out there chopped down my lamppost in half and came inside to die, but look at that. Half past 11 and the horde is done. The lighting in here is really nice too. Like because everything's a bit darker, it's a bit more, uh, the lighting of it all is a bit more dynamic all over the place, which I really quite enjoy. I reckon I can turn this barn into a pretty bloody good base at some point. I need to figure out what their pathing is doing over on this side. They're having some issues. Like they go across and turn around and do the hokey pokey and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not sure what's going on. But hey, if they're going to get stuck there, turn around, drop down and come back up the stairs, that is A-OK -okay with me. Gives me more opportunities to kill them from relative safety. But again, that's only going to last until I run out of ammo. So speaking of... Give me you, and give me you. I'll chuck you in and get you smelting away as well. Because I'm going to need some bullets before too long. I don't really have a choice in the matter. But either way, with that done, and does are appropriately named, Dorothy, pat, 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 we're doing good things. You are making a nuisance of yourself by getting in my way quite often. But for the most part, you and I, we make a good team. We should get jerseys or something. But my rifle looks sick with its a great bloody scope on it. Uh, machine guns looking sick. My shotguns looking sick. I'm making pretty good progress. My only issue is my overwhelming lack of food. Because even with like all this like charred meat and stuff, it takes me like, I'll have to eat like almost all this stack to get my food back up to where it needs to be. It's just not sustaining at all. I don't have 
any recipes to cook with yet. So that's going to be a bit dicey. I need to go trap to, to, to Trady Potato. I know that. That's fine. Uh, actually, no, wait. I need to go do his quest for him, don't I? Which is... Who bloody knows where? Where the hell is your quest? All the way down there. Oh, okay. Wait, what is it? Ah, the pharmacy. Okay, so tomorrow, I can go and do that pharmacy quest and then try and get more ammo. I've got to start raiding by using my club and not just using my guns all the time. They're good for a backup if I get in a pinch, but I've got to try and be better about ammo conservation or else this series isn't going to last very long at all. But I'm going to have to come back and continue this probably ill-fated series in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. But most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.